I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand how can we write equation of a trigonometric function from the given graph. So the question here is determine the equation of trigonometric function from the graph. If you carefully look at the graph it seems that the graph could be of secant or cosecant function. Correct? Now since it has a local minimum on the y-axis it is easier for us to write secant function. However, we can write both secant and cosecant, right? So let me begin by writing equation with a secant function. How are we going to do that? So let's write a general equation first. We can write a secant of k x minus some phase shift plus q, right? So that is a general transformed equation for a secant function. To get to the secant function, what we can do is we can draw the reciprocal of the secant function, which is cosine function, from the given information and then find the secant function. That could be a good way of doing it. So let us now consider a cosine function. So what we will do here is we will find the maximum for a cosine function. Let me sketch one, right? So or let us write down the values and then sketch. So if we if we are considering the cosine function, let's cons consider cosine function, which is kind of in between, right? Somewhere here. For a cosine function, maximum is at 3, right? Minimum value is at minus 1, right? So from there, we get amplitude as maximum minus minimum time divided by 2 which is 3 minus of minus 1 divided by 2 and that is 4 by 2 is 2. Uh, Q, the axis value will be average value maximum plus minimum divided by 2 which is 3 plus minus 1 divided by 2 which is 2 divided by 2 is 1, right? So with these two values we can actually draw the axis at x equals to 1 that is here so we can draw the axis here okay now we know the maximum and minimum values so these are the maximum values these are the minimum values okay so this is very light so what I will do is first I will plot some points so that I get some points to connect with and then it be easier for us to draw okay okay so so we can actually draw a graph like this It has to be a very smooth graph, right? So, you know, there are some points which are not that smooth, but that's okay. So that is how we get a function, right? So what we will do at present is figure out what this cosine function is. Now we can find the time period, which is the time between these two peaks, right? So time will be for us is equal to 2 minus 0, which is 2. From time period, we can get k value, which is 2 pi by 2, or it is pi, correct? So, so we get the, the cosine function here, right? <clears throat> so, so using these values, actually, we can now write down our secant function. So basically, we analyze the cosine function to get the equation of the secant function. Do you understand? Now... So we can now write down the equation as y equals to a, the amplitude is 2, right, secant, the k value is pi. Now since we there is no phase shift for cosine, there is no phase shift for secant also, do you see that? So we get pi times x and the q value moves one unit up, so we get 1 up, right. So that becomes the equation when we are considering a secant function, do you get the point? Now, if you have to write uh, a cosecant function, for example, in that case, we will consider the sine function, which starts from here, correct? We could consider from here or from not there because it has to be rising. Now, for a cosecant function, let me write down an equation here. There will be a phase shift since that is the point, which is, which is at uh, minus half. Is it okay? Minus 0 0.5 you can write. So for a cosecant function, it is going to be similar. Let me write that to cosecant. The k value and x will be same. However, there is going to be a phase shift. Now, 
moving half units to the left means plus 0 0.5 is that okay and the x axis is moving one unit up so you could also write cosecant function for the same graph i hope you understand the strategy the strategy here is sketch the sine or cosine function in between so that things become very clear to you calculate the parameters and write down the reciprocal function as shown in this video i hope that helps thank you and all the best